We're here at Zone 1 South. We're currently paving foam bitumen. Just completed cement treated base or CTB and we're on our second layer of foam bitumen. Foam bitumen and it's basically a granular material mixed with bitumen and lime and what that does is it produces a really cohesive material that has a lot of strength vertically, we call that compressive strength, but it also has a lot of tensile strength. The foam is very resilient to flooding, it's very resilient to traffic um, and it's, it's eight times stronger than a normal granular pavement. So when we look at this dynamic and when we look at adding foam to a pavement design, we know that the, the most critical layer of the pavement, the subgrade and the sub-base layer, the foam, is going to hold up to those extreme weather events. It has been doing for the last 22 years in Australia. So another reason why we adopted foam on the project. Here in Zone 1 South, there was approximately uh, 430,000 cubes of bulk earthworks to be completed. Clear all the trees, strip all the topsoil. We remove any unsuitable material underneath the foundation. And then we come up in our layers. Once we reach the top, what we call subgrade, that we compact and trim to specification. And that's when we're ready for pavements. But this being a massive project and it's very dynamic and things can change, we wanted to ensure that we had the capacity to deliver the work maybe in a shorter period than necessary, because as we know, programs change. So we opted for this batch plant. This batch plant can run at 400 tonnes per hour. Traditionally, batch plants, uh, the same application, run about 150 tonnes per hour. As you can see, we take um, a road-based product uh, that we actually make on site. We crush that, we bring the granular product in, so the lime, the bitumen, the expanding bitumen all mixes together with water and what you get is this product here which is called foam bitumen. The uniqueness about the plant is not only its volume that it's producing, it's the level of control and level of accuracy. So we started um, at about 60% capacity and we're building day on, day in to increase incrementally. We're about 1,500 tonnes per day. Our target is to get to 2,500 tonnes per day paving, which is it's quite respectable. Preparation for subgrade is everything. If you don't get your subgrade preparation right, then it will ultimately your pavements will fail. Once we're happy and the independent verifier is happy, he gives us the tick and then we can start pavements. To drive along this at the end is going to be a phenomenal achievement. You start to feel like the project is part of your life. So to drive on this project at the end, it's going to be like finishing a marathon.